Hey there everybody, welcome to another Q&A Wednesday here on Jessica Smith TV. And today's topic is a really important one that I don't think we get to talk enough about, especially when we're doing workouts all the time. You know, on a fitness channel, we're always talking about, you know, achieving more, doing more reps, burning more calories, slimming down. And today I really just wanna talk about some ways that we can learn to accept and love our bodies as they are right now. Not when we lose those last 10 pounds, not when we reach our goal dress size, but today in all of its amazing glory. So I just wanted to talk about this a little bit more in depth because I recently did a podcast interview with a dear friend of mine, Lynn Martinez, and I'll put a link to that full podcast episode below, but it really brought up some really great topics and ideas that I thought we could talk about a little bit more here on our channel as well. And one of the most important things is really listening to our self talk. You know, I'm not standing here on my soapbox telling you that I'm perfect and that I love my body and everything's great and I wake up feeling so good about myself every day. That's not the case. But I think if we can really start paying attention to the things that we say to ourselves, it's really a start to learning how to accept and love yourself. You know, we would never talk to a dear friend or a close family member the way that we talk to ourselves sometimes about our bodies. And I think it's really important that if you can catch yourself in those moments when you're saying something negative to yourself, you're getting down on yourself, that you turn it around. You stop yourself in that moment and say, wow, would I say this to someone that I love? And if the answer is no, then you shouldn't be saying it to yourself either. So one of my tips is to really start just giving yourself a compliment every day. And it may sound really silly, but it can make a huge difference. You know, I really believe that what we focus on expands. And if all that you're thinking about all the time is how fat your thighs are and how ugly you feel and how just gross and squishy all the time, all those negative things that we think about ourselves, it just constantly expanding. All those negative thoughts start getting into this loop and it becomes our regular script. But if you can start to look for something positive to say to yourself just once a day, at least, it's a start. And hopefully those things will continue to grow and you can turn the negative self-talk into something that's positive. Because the truth is, your body right now is perfect just the way it is. Sure, you'd like to make improvements and that's what we're here to help you do with our workouts and all of that, but we're not ever striving to have you in this perfect bikini body shape. Everybody is all different. We're all different shapes and sizes and I think we should really learn to love and celebrate our bodies as they are right now in this moment and not wait until we face some sort of serious health crisis or injury because that's really, we take ourselves for granted, right? If you ask anybody who's been dealing with a major illness or has gone through some major injury, they're really wishing that they had their health back, that they had their mobility back. Those things that we take for granted on a daily basis are so important. And I think if we can learn to be grateful for what we have right now, you can really start to see more positive things come into your life. Your body will start to feel better. You might have more energy, a more positive outlook. And that can lead to even better changes that you'll see not only on the inside, but on the outside too. So let me know your thoughts on this topic. I know it's kind of a touchy one. Sometimes it can feel a little bit silly or cheesy, but I thought it was important that we really started to talk about this a little bit more because we don't have time to say these things in our workouts and I don't want to give the impression that we're just here to focus on losing weight and burning calories all the time because that's really not my mission as a fitness professional. I wanna be here to be your coach, be your guide, but to encourage you to love and accept your body as it is and to just work on building strength, endurance, and just feeling your healthiest and happiest so that you can live your healthiest and happiest life. So I hope that helped kind of open up this subject a little bit. I'd love to hear more from you about this. So please leave me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts, your experiences, your tips. Have you been able to change some of that negative self-talk? What's worked for you? We always learn so much from each other. So let's keep this discussion going in the comments below. And if you have a question for me that I can answer in an upcoming Q&A Wednesday, please also leave it for me in the comments below. I'd love to answer it as soon as I can for you. Thanks as always guys for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday for another Q&A Wednesday session. Take care everybody.